are here with the one and only Jay. Welcome back to another video. Today we are in Hong Kong and I'm here with little Jay and I just brought him because I really want him to enjoy the joy and the happiness of Christmas. It is a time of the year again. Joyful music, delicious food, gatherings, lights, and Christmas trees everywhere. Well, not everywhere, at least not in China. As you may know by now, if you've seen my previous videos, I've been in China for a little bit longer than eight years. And spending Christmas here in China as a foreigner is a little bit interesting. Well, China is mostly a non-Christian country. So Christmas is not traditionally celebrated as a religious holiday here. However, in recent years, the holiday has gained a little bit more of popularity and you will find in major cities and mostly within commercial areas, some Christmas decorations, Christmas lights and trees. But that will only happen in major cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou or Shenzhen, mostly like in shopping malls, hotels and international restaurants mainly. Um, in mainland China, if you have seen uh, some of my previous videos about how we celebrate Christmas in China, there's not such a big spirit uh, like in Hong Kong. So we are not here. <laughs> but I like Hong Kong a little bit better because you have more like Christmas trees, more like the Christmas energy all around the city. So we decided to come for a couple days to enjoy the lights and the mood, the Christmas energy in this city. Well, even though Christmas is not a public holiday here, Western customs and traditions related to the Christmas, like gift giving or exchange Christmas cards and festive dinners have been adopted by some people here, but again, mostly in cosmopolitan or urban areas. For me, one of the best parts of living in a city like Shenzhen is that it's very convenient to visit Hong Kong, one of my favorite cities. It just takes a train from Futian Station and in just 14 minutes, yes, you heard right, 14 minutes, you can arrive in Hong Kong, specifically in Kowloon West Station. Of course, we're talking about high-speed trains with a speed of up to 300 kilometers per hour. We love Christmas and every year Jay loves it more and more. He likes to see and enjoy Christmas lights. Even though for the last three years, because of the COVID restrictions, we couldn't come to Hong Kong, so we had to stay in Shenzhen, now it is as easy as before. So we decided to come and spend here the weekend. In mainland China, we don't have it that much. Oh my God. <laughs> but here in Hong Kong, it's more like uh, common to find this kind of uh, this place. Actually, this is West Kowloon Cultural District. It's a place that is becoming a little bit trendy here in Hong Kong. It's like kind of a new complex of museums and galleries and cultural places for this kind of display. Uh, we made like a five minutes queue to enter this place because uh, it was just inaugurated yesterday because holidays are coming. So. We are so excited about it. And Jay is asking me to hurry up because he wants to go somewhere. ¿Por qué? ¿Dónde vamos?
We came to Spain just a couple days to enjoy the Christmas spirit over here. There are several places here in Hong Kong where you can see and enjoy the Christmas spirit all around the city. We came to two locations mainly, the K11 Museum Mall in Tintatoe, and we also went to Kowloon West Cultural District to enjoy the Winter Fest 2023. This place is actually very nice because you have very good views of the Victoria Harbour and the stunning Hong Kong skyline. As you might know by now, I love to share in my content life about China. How positive and vibrant is this place? I came across a series of videos that shows different points of view about living and working here. It is called Journey to China Resonance of Art and it shows the perspective of several expats who had the chance to write their story in this country. Their jobs are deeply related to art. The videos are absolutely enjoyable. It shows from a humanistic, artistic and international perspective the development environment of Chinese art and how artists spend their daily life in China. In these videos, we will get to know people from different backgrounds, coming from Armenia, the USA and Italy. These three characters show their interest in ancient Chinese ceramics, their love for the violin and their fascination for Chinese painting. Their stories are very unique and interesting, and I totally recommend taking a look at these wonderful videos. I'm sharing the links down below so you can also enjoy them just as I did. So, how come in Hong Kong Christmas is so widely celebrated and not in the rest of mainland China? Well, there are several reasons for this, including historical, cultural and economic factors. First place, we have the colonial influence. Remember, Hong Kong was a British colony until 1997. And during that time, they absorbed many Western traditions and holidays, including Christmas, of course. The British colonial period brought Western customs and practices to Hong Kong contributing to the celebration of Christmas as a widely observed holiday. In second place, we have the international multicultural population. Remember, Hong Kong is a diverse and cosmopolitan city with a significant expatriate population. Many residents and businesses in Hong Kong have connections to Western countries where Christmas is a major holiday. Also in the third place, we have commercialization. Similar to many other parts of the world, Christmas has become a commercialized event in Hong Kong. Retailers, businesses, and shopping centers capitalize on the festive season by promoting sales, offering special discounts, and decorating their establishments with Christmas-themed displays. And in last place, we have the public holidays. Christmas here in Hong Kong is recognized as a public holiday. This official recognition means that schools, businesses, and government offices may close on Christmas days, something that actually do not happen in mainland China. This allows people to have time off to celebrate with family and friends. While Christmas has become a widely celebrated and commercialized holiday here in Hong Kong, it's worth noting that the way it is observed may differ from Western countries. The cultural context, local tradition, and the influence of other festivals, such as the Chinese New Year, also shape the unique way in which Christmas is celebrated in Hong Kong. Uh, this is an exhibition that was opened just yesterday, so it's been here for like 24 hours. It's going to be here until January 1st, and it goes from 5 p.m. until 11 p.m. But on the 24th, the 25th, and the 31st of December, it's going to be until 1 in the morning, so people can actually get to see. Today it's a uh, weekend, it's Saturday, so we see a lot of people, and my hair is really funny. Uh, we see a lot of people, uh, especially from mainland China. You can tell because a lot of people speaking Mandarin here to visit this place. As I say, these kind of exhibitions are not that common in mainland China since Christmas is not a mainstream holiday. But it is certainly very popular here in Hong Kong. Whether it's in shopping districts or public spaces, Hong Kong goes all out to create a magical atmosphere that brings joy to locals and visitors alike. And that's why we're here for. Okay, dile a todos, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> 
folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impression over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.